Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the YoYo Fit Smart Fitness Watch. Uh, if you're tired of having these plastic fitness bands and want a real watch which has same functionality with fitness tracking, heart rate sensor, get all the notification notifications from your smartphone and is looking good then i think this could be really the one for you so i'm doing the unboxing now and so let's check what we get in this box we get some information from the seller and the watch and so it looks like to charge we get a clip here we have two pins. You can see that when it's focusing. Um, yeah, USB standard USB, which you can plug everywhere. That's really good so far. And with this clip, it looks like there's a nice hold. You uh, you are not at least risk to lose that. And if you need that for uh, small repairs I think uh, it's possible to change the wrist band as far as I have seen so maybe this screwdriver is helpful looks like we even get some kind of screen protector which is really nice and we get a lot of information so I'm not going to show you everything but you get a uh, impression um, that yeah, it explains probably everything that that's really good even with some kind of message samples display examples and yeah, what we see uh, it is compatible with iOS 9.0 and higher and Android 4.4 uh, point uh, yeah higher that's KitKat. So yeah, so let's see how this really looks it's nicely protected inside okay that looks really nice i guess there's a plastic here which you can remove and then it looks even better so it looks like it is pre-charged so here we have this button here and uh yeah that's a really nice uh screen let's see yeah that's 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 really good as you can see uh it's super easy to see the display almost from every angle uh i'm really surprised uh how bright this really is that's that's really awesome i mean uh you can use this standalone but uh of course you won't get any kind of notification from your uh, phone and there's definitely additional information a lot of uh, yeah really interesting things if you connect this with your app that's definitely an advantage so i'll try this out but the thing is really at the moment that looks really awesome don't you agree i mean that is def definitely something really different compared to the yeah these cheap uh, fitness bands which you usually get and the good thing is that you can adjust the size uh really i mean there's no uh, holes or something like that so it fits for fits for everybody i mean that's the good thing here so you don't have to uh, worry about that it's too large too short whatsoever uh, that's a really really nice thing i definitely like that isn't that beautiful and here we see the heart rate sensor so you can continuously read your heart uh, heart rate by the way the really good thing is with this manual we get it uh, the information in different languages it is in english german italian uh, spanish and in french so before i'm doing something with the watch it is the best thing to charge it fully and so i'll take the clip 
and put it here so that it matches the pins here and so let's see if that works I'll turn on the charger and I'll guess it's charging so I leave it like this for about two hours so when you did everything right when you uh, matched the pins and you have power and turn it on you will see this charging indicator on your watch so after about two hours I'm checking now on the battery status so if you're using a charger like this which turns off the charging automatically when the watch isn't consuming uh, power anymore that's the easiest thing so you can just turn it on and watch at the, the display uh, of the watch and it says finish so you know that it's fully charged of course you can do this just by unplugging and replugging so uh, we take this off the charger here and now we want to connect it with our phone so I'm doing this here with this QR code from the instruction I hope it will find it from the camera now click on view QR code I get a link and when I say uh, click on go to website it should invoke the Play Store where we find this app and of course we install it from here it is important when you connect it that you have turned on the Bluetooth on your phone so looks everything is installed and I'm open it now so I have to enter uh, my personal settings so for here for the moment I just leave it as it is I confirm you have to give confirmation or um, yeah ex allow access to photos media and files on the device location make phone calls and now we are already on the app but of course we have to connect it now so I think that's this thing add a device and then we already have this phone so uh, yeah we have I think there was something in the instructions that we have to keep it alive which you can do somewhere here um, let's see oh yeah it already says connected yeah that was really quick I didn't expect that to happen so fast that's awesome and now we can do all the settings from here like the uh, change the watch faces it looks like we have definitely a lot of options the watch faces we can choose from all the notifications all from almost all the apps which we have installed uh, which can set three alarms uh, there's a shutter which you can use to make pictures on our phone yeah, I'm not doing this now and some other things yeah a lot of things to choose from you can um, remind to move that's a good thing so keeps you a little bit active during the day and an all-day heart rate measurement of course maybe that will use a little bit more power but it could be a really good and interesting thing here weather and quick view um, so let's go back and we even have an upgrade uh, possibility if the company comes out with a new firmware we can upgrade it here but it says your firmware is on the latest version which is a really good thing so yeah that's really cool and we can see uh, we have the current uh, time and I have also seen before the temperature I think yeah here I had that temperature seems to be uh, accurate by the way to adjust the length of the wristband uh, you take a yeah, screwdriver and uh, go underneath here and lift it up 
and so you can move it around wherever you want and wherever you need it and then push it back so here we can see the watch with a nice screen how beautiful this is and yeah we can just activate the screen with uh, moving around uh, like your wrist or you can also activate it by pushing down here there's like a button in the screen when you push down here it uh, activates the screen or switches through the functions uh, there is nothing yeah maybe here but you can you cannot switch you can maybe activate the screen but you can't you can't actually do something so you have to touch here and then you can go through all the uh, apps and some uh, say long press and then you have a special function so we do this here again long press down here and it looks like it starts to measuring my heart rate so it has ended now and we can go to other functions so i've been wearing this yo-yo fit sports watch for some time i've been trying a lot of functions not everything but at least some of the uh, things related to the heart rate and yeah i've been trying to uh, go through the menus here and it was really interesting to see what it can I, I mean I have never seen a watch which is capable to do to read so many things uh, heart rate blood pressure and blood oxygen I did a few readings you get in the app you will see your uh, seven last readings as a trend that's really interesting Oh, you can also track your sleep you can track so many things um, yeah the blood pressure the blood oxygen you get everything as a nice trend to see how it develops outdoor running so this is a really nice overview of the your day uh, like regarding fitness steps sleep heart rate and so on so that's a really good thing with the app you get instantly everything you get a really good impression what was going on during the day regarding your fitness so i had the impression that you can almost do everything from your watch except very few things and one of the things which i haven't found on the watch are alarms i think you have to really set them on the app i did that and it um yeah it did activated the vibration on the watch at exactly 6 37 pm which is good the vibration was not super strong i'm not sure if it, this will be able to wake you up in the morning but during the day i was i have been able to notice it even when not looking at the watch so that's not that's good uh yeah here you get uh, some basic information about the charge and mac address and so on but you can do same thing also on your watch when you turn it on and you touch long here then you get the mac address and charge and same thing as well you we have two buttons here one button is actually included or it's in the touch screen at the very bottom in the center so you can touch and activate the screen but you can activate the screen also by moving your wrist a little bit up and down like you would yeah check the time on your normal watch i think there's no permanent uh, display and you can you can't change the time how long this information will stay on so you have to uh, either push or move your uh, wrist every now and then to see everything but at least this Im information here is really good you can you have really a lot of information about the time and heart rate and steps and 
yeah how many calories you spend it's the uh, date time and battery status so almost everything which you really actually need I like that but you can switch there are other uh, screens as well available and you can uh, change them also and on your watch so the one screen uh, the one button is here button is here and one button is here so we have either short press here or long press as you have already seen and we have also short or long press here short press is back to the main menu long press is to turn it off yeah i think the screen has to be on if you want to turn it off yeah now it worked i think you have to just uh, give it a short press and then a long press i think the alarm wouldn't work if you have turned it off so you have to leave it on during the night the thing is there is actually no screen protector when you touch it during the night it will activate the screen but usually uh, nothing should happen i'm not too worried about i mean by the way it was really nice to wear it it's really comfortable uh yeah i mean and also with this uh seamless uh size regulation that's a really good thing so you can make this thing really comfortable and it's it's beautiful i mean it's a total different world when it comes to fitness bands i mean this is really more like a smart watch it's not a full smart watch but it's closer to a smart watch than a normal fitness band especially when it comes to uh, the look so when you have activated your screen you can touch again and then cycle through all the functions and whenever you see something like long press then you can give it a long press and enter special functions from here so usually when you want to select then something from here you have to give it another long press so here it would it is trying to detect the heart rate of course it's uh, impossible so i have to turn it off again so yeah here some sports uh, again with the long press you can uh, select different sports like walking running cycling and so on if you want to select it give it a long press and it starts automatically if you want to stop long press again and yeah you can pause it or you can stop it or you can just return and so we are doing that and we are back at the menu so there's our yeah it's just really the long press and the short press that's it uh, yeah and you you can really navigate through everything that's really an awesome thing you don't need additionally additional buttons or something like that it really works for everything here we have the weather as you can see there's nothing more no long press here we have the messages with a long press you can go through everything we don't have anything here and then the blood pressure monitoring my last readings and the blood uh, oxygen saturation here and the shutter like if you want to control your uh, camera on your phone remotely and the music player and some settings as well uh, there's the yeah here we can switch through the uh, watch faces or we have a stopwatch we start it with a long press and we also stop it with a long press and we have mute we have reset power off brightness different brightness level i think this is a medium we can go even brighter so you can see and with long press we can go back it's it's super easy and here we get the qr code so uh, it's it's really super easy to navigate with these long and short presses 
if you get uh, are used after just a couple of minutes or so it doesn't take too long it's it's super easy and when you are somewhere in the middle and you want to go back to the main menu just short push here and you are back on the main menu and yeah that's a really cool thing i mean i really like this style it's wonderful i mean i haven't seen something like that as a sports wristband this is uh, way beyond anything what i've seen so far i mean that's definitely a total different thing to these cheap plastic bands and it's uh, within the same uh, price range that's a really good thing i mean of course it's not comparable to smartwatches from samsung or apple or something like that i mean i'm not telling this but i haven't seen something uh, which is so interesting uh, that's that's a really new step uh, yeah and especially with these three functionalities regarding uh, blood uh, heart rate blood pressure and blood oxygen measure, uh, measuring uh, yeah it's it's a really interesting thing and uh, so I've been playing around with this watch for quite some time and it still shows 99% battery level and it was about two days just on standby I think if you are not using the blood pressure or blood rate or, or those things with the sensor uh, in the back or not permanently the whole day I think the battery should last for quite long time I haven't seen any real indications on that but I really expect a couple of days or well, I wouldn't be uh, too surprised if you get even a, a whole week out of one battery charge so I can really highly recommend that to everybody who wants just something which is not too expensive and you don't want to have a full smartwatch but you w would like to have a lot of functionalities still so that's a good way for to have something intermediate and having something really beautiful and i think it could be a really nice gift for your spouse or family or relatives or whatsoever so i really liked that and uh, i hope you will like it too if you uh, want to buy that i'll put down the link into the description and you can order that right from there directly on amazon and if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time